while we're on the topic guys there's been a little confusion out there about people trying to identify large bore versus small bore style Detroit blowers or GM blowers out there now the thing is um, that's the thickness the case thickness at the top and at the bottom you need a measure to determine that now um, they do say that if it's a um, small bore this will be thicker obviously limiting the um, the volume in there the case volume and they do say that 7 8 if it's a 7 8 uh, thickness there it's a small bore now as far as the V series stuff I don't think I've ever come across a small bore V series or a large bore in that matter the top deck uh, thicknesses and the bottom have always been the same with the ones that I've scored. Um, I'm not sure if they do have a large bore V series out there. Someone, you know, can probably comment and correct me on that. But I've always come across the thicker ones here. Now, um, what I mean by thicker, they do say seven eighths, but it's not really seven eighths. You see that a lot out there online. It's actually smaller than seven eighths right so instead of being 22 point something millimeters it's more like 21 and a half millimeters because i can slot in a piece of paper in there okay and now if it were the case and this was a large bore that will be thinner obviously increasing then the volume within that case and they do say that a three quarter wrench would fit over that where in this case this doesn't it falls short you know it falls uh, short probably by you know two and a half to three millimeters now that's on the v stuff but according to the traditional uh jimmy uh 671s that are out there like on that thing um that's what they say so uh i'm pretty sure i've got a large bore on that i'm I, you know it's been a long time i need a check and um you know when i do rebuild these carbs that i have got to get on too soon i'll have a look and i can just visually see because sometimes you can eye out that um um you know the minus two and a half three millimeters there if you got the eye for it um but they do say especially on those jimmy stuff the large versus the small ball that yeah if you do have a seven eighths uh, wrench and it slips over the top deck like it does on this and like i said there's even a bit of play there so a piece of paper can actually slide in there um then uh if that's the result you get on your jimmy 671s then it's a small ball but if you grab yourself a three quarter uh wrench and slip it over and if it slides over and it's that thickness then it's a large ball and you know, if you if you work out the differences between that, you got about two and three quarter of you know millimeters on the top end, and you're going to have the same on the bottom, and that's a big difference. You know what I mean? As far as volume and as far as what it can flow, so that's why the old large bore six seventy ones um, can really give a good eight seventy one a run for their money, just because of the large bore volume. And you'll think, um, you know, two and a half, three millimeter difference on either end, but yeah, you, it, it does make a difference. And now they do say um, you can't fit, obviously, large bore rotors, factory large bore rotors in a small bore case. And that's fair enough, you know, just won't fit in there, it'll just bind up. But then you can fit factory small bore rotors in a large bore case but then you're going to have massive clearance around the tire you know what i mean um whatever you call it uh circumference of the internal uh blower case which is going to limit you you know in performance in efficiency it's going to seep out boost it's probably going to cause heat they do do that out there you know but it's it's not wise Okay, so if we jump onto the traditional 671 Jimmy stuff, you see here, you can see the top flange is thick, like 7 eighths in size, and that'll be a small bore. And then you see another comparison here with a thin top deck, and that'll be a large bore. And that also is a 671 you see there. There's also other 671 
uh, cases with the machine tabs, the crossbars across, and they reckon, you know, they say that they're um, small bores. And then you've got the as-cast round crossbars you see here, and people say that they, the ones with those crossbars like you see here are, are a, a large bore. But I don't know, sometimes it's not the case because you can see here it's definitely a 7 8 thick deck with the round crossbars and even the little 471 behind there also. Yeah, so if we judge these V-series blowers um, the same as being your traditional Jimmy 671s and if we call this uh, let's call this because the 7 8 wrench is on top of that flange, top flange. If we call this then a small ball, right? It's not really 7 8 because look, that's hugging the top flange and there's plenty of clearance. So it's not really a true 22 millimeters, it'll be way, up, way under. And there's your three quarter. But, yeah. but again, I'll say it, um, I've, never, I've never came across um, anything to indicate me uh you know a difference in this thickness here with all the v series stuff that i've scored and i've scored a number of these i've, I've flipped some you know i've traded some and a few that i've kept but um yeah they've always come like this so they've always come around 21 millimeters up here and you know if i you know compare that to the jimmy stuff when they call large ball versus small ball this will obviously indicate that it, there are all the V-series stuff are small bores, if that's the case. But I'm not sure. Maybe someone out there can correct me if there is such a thing as the V-series stuff to be a bit thinner in here. Or if these type of blowers do actually come in large bore or small bore. But I know um, the good old Jimmy stuff, 671 stuff, they do. And remember, it's always old school cool with 69 janks.